Dear students, greetings for the day. Today we will study about classification of aircrafts. An aircraft is a vehicle that is able to fly by gaining support from the air. It counters the force of gravity by using either a static lift or by using the dynamic lift of an airfoil, or in a few cases the downward thrust from jet engines. Common examples of aircraft include airplanes, helicopters, airships, including blimps, gliders, paramotors and hot air balloons. The human activity that surrounds aircraft is called aviation. The science of aviation, including designing and building aircraft, is called aeronautics. Commercial airplanes, jumbo passenger jets, mid-size passenger jets, light passenger jets, passenger turboprop, cargo airplanes. Private jet, very light jets, light business jets, mid-size business jets, heavy business jets, military jets. Private propeller planes, private single engine, twin turboprops, aerobatics, amphibious, military turboprops, Jumbo passenger jet, the Boeing 747 was the first wide-body commercial jet to earn the moniker Jumbo Jet. Boeing never imagined that the subsonic 747 would continue to hold popularity, in light of the supersonic jets in development at the time. Mid-size passenger jets, mid-size passenger jets, such as the Airbus 3501000, have a narrower body. Although they can still carry over 350 passengers, these planes can't match the 600 passenger capacity of a Boeing 747 in a single class configuration. Light passenger jets. In the light passenger jet range, the seating for passengers is typically 60 to 100. The Imbra R 175 can travel 1,800 miles at a cruising speed of 545 miles per hour. The smaller size of light passenger jets makes them the ideal choice for economy airlines. The seating is evenly divided into two sections on each side of a center aisle. Larger jets have three sections and two aisles.
passenger turboprops. Although turboprops are not as reliable as jet engines, aircraft are much safer than ground transportation because they are built for reliability. In addition, once the planes reach cruising altitude, there are not many factors which can negatively influence planes that fly over the weather. Very light jets. Very light jets are primarily for short trips to regional destinations. They typically offer seating for up to eight passengers. The advantage of these jets is that you can hire a single pilot to fly them instead of an entire flight crew. Some models also boast of low operating costs that are on par with turboprop planes. They are the ideal solution for reaching more remote destinations that airlines avoid. Light Business Jets Some light business jets are capable of transcontinental flights of 2,400 nautical miles or more. The definition of a light business jet is that the maximum takeoff weight is 20,000 pounds compared to just half that for very light jets. Heavy business jets. These jets are often converted from larger commercial airline jets into luxury liners. The advantage of a heavy business jet is the ability to conduct full-scale meetings and conferences. They accommodate anywhere from 10 to 18 passengers and are able to fly at high altitudes above the weather for maximum comfort and reliability. They also have single flight ranges that exceed 6,000 miles over a span of 6 to 8 hours. Heavy Business Jets These jets are often converted from larger commercial airline jets into luxury liners. The advantage of a heavy business jet is the ability to conduct full-scale meetings and conferences. They accommodate anywhere from 10 to 18 passengers and are able to fly at high altitudes above the weather for maximum comfort and reliability. They also have single flight ranges that exceed 6,000 miles over a span of 6 to 8 hours. Mid-size business jets. While the typical VLJ and light jet carry a maximum of six passengers, a mid-size business jet offers comfortable seating for up to ten passengers. You will find that the luxuries and amenities grow with each class. Private single engine, although you would think that the propeller-driven engine has been outmoded by modern-day jet engines, think again. Over 27% of the flights are still by propeller-driven airplanes. Twin turboprops, although the operating cost of a turboprop is more on par with a jet, they often have a larger hauling capacity than many light jets. The turboprop jet engines can also dive and climb straight up without stalling out.
aerobatic. Many former Air Force pilots find themselves missing the thrill of high-speed maneuvers in fighter jets. While it may be impossible for them to ever get their hands on a fighter jet again, an aerobatic plane is a suitable substitute. Amphibious, amphibious aircraft are specially designed to take off and land in freshwater lakes and seas. Some planes can even be fitted with keels that are reinforced to handle a landing on train covered by snow or ice. Military turboprops, the military is still developing and using turboprop planes for cargo transport and light attack fighters. Because the turboprops provide better fuel economy and are cheaper to manufacture and deploy into regions where light duty fighters are needed, they are still preferred over jets in some applications.